do 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 all right well how's everybody doing today i'm doing well thank you for asking welcome to the body beatdown as the title suggests we are going to be doing some spinning uh my spinning lasts 30 minutes it is for everyone we don't go hard and heavy and crazy we just get on the bike spin you can do whatever you want you can go nuts you can kick back and you know go at your own pace do whatever it is that you want to do usually my rpms however correct they are on the machine i have no idea I, my rpms i try to keep between 45 and 50 and uh just do a nice medium to lightweight whatever spin and i just uh, burn some calories enjoy myself and get some uh, no impact cardio uh, in my day. I do a walk every day, so that's where I get a little bit of, uh, you know, the punishment on the body where I'm walking. So let's uh, let's get some spin going, guys, so we can get this over and done with. Now I'm not going to have any music playing. I'm not going to have TV or movies are going or anything. We're just going to spin and try to enjoy the session. And away we go, guys. And with any piece of equipment like this, it's going to make a little noise. But I don't believe it's anything we can't work around. It's fun. The noise is fun. It helps to keep us awake. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown, if you would, please. Spread my channel out there to all your social media. It's easy to do. It takes five seconds. And we can grow this community uh, to where it needs to be. Normally when I spin, uh, I'm watching Hercules The Legendary Journey. I enjoy watching that show. Uh, it's just good, wholesome fun. I like Xena as well, but I mostly watch uh, Hercules. To me, Hercules is kind of like the live action movie or TV series of He-Man. The old school He-Man, Master of the Universe. Kind of reminds me of that, only just, you know, a little different characters and situations. So uh, it always has some kind of a nice message or something off in there. And uh, I like that. I like it when shows do that. You can tell we don't go real fast, or I don't. You're welcome to. You can do whatever you want. But uh, right now I'm just at uh, 50 RPMs. Like I said, I usually keep it between 45 and 50. It just depends on uh, the cadence. It just depends on how I'm doing. I don't really pay too much attention. I just know that I keep it over 45.
And uh, I find that that gives you just kind of a good all-around workout, especially for 30 minutes. A lot of times people don't ride these kind of bikes for 30 minutes for some reason. Uh, and they think that they have to go crazy all the time on them. But you don't have to to get a good workout. Of course, this is the smaller version. They make the larger kind with the larger fans. And, uh, those are the ones that you see mostly with people going, you know, full out on and crazy. I assume that this smaller version doesn't have quite the resistance that the larger ones have. But it's good enough. And the resistance on these type of bikes is the fan itself. You don't have settings. Uh, the resistance comes from how hard you want to pedal. Now, of course, it, it tops out. And there's only so much. There's only so much resistance you're going to get. No matter if it's this small model or the large kind, you're only going to get so much resistance. But, overall, it gives you a decent workout. Now going outside and riding your bicycle is a lot better workout. And uh, I used to be a cyclist for five and a half years. And, uh, just uh, in the middle of July is actually my first year that I haven't been riding. So I kind of retired last, last July. And I've only went on maybe two rides since then just to kind of get out and do something different. But I use this seven days a week. I walk seven days a week, and that's my cardio. And uh, also I work out six days a week, which actually adds some cardio into your routine as well, because, you know, lifting weights really works out the heart as well. So, but these kind of get pumping a little bit more for longer periods of time. Doing something like this, walking, jogging, playing sports. That kind of gets things going for a longer period of time. Uh, you can get worn out from working out, especially when you do legs. Legs are notorious for being uh, very humbling. They will humble you real quick because they will wear you out. Your legs are your biggest muscle on your body, and they get worn out quick. Lots of blood, lots of oxygen, lots of things going on. And uh, that's a lot to, to be working out and moving around. So that's why on leg day, you really get gassed really quickly. Always make sure to have some water. A lot of times I'll have a couple of these over here. Maybe I'll be okay with just one. You know, I have a dream, guys. I have a dream of having a gym, a small gym, where not only I can train, but I can have people over to work out with and train with. And You know, share passions with one another and help one another. And that's my dream. I've wanted that since I was in my 20s. Well, I'm 50 years old. I don't know if I'm ever going to get it. But it is a passion of mine. Uh, no, I'm not a licensed personal trainer. And in the state of Tennessee, you don't have to be. I have knowledge up here, real world uh, knowledge, you know, training. I've worked out off and on since the 90s. I did take a lot of time off from 2011, really, until 2021, uh, winter, early of 2021, about February or March. 2021 is whenever I started kind of getting stuff again. But I took off a lot of years because just personal issues and uh, my 
shoulder problems and stuff like that. But so far, I've been going for over a year now, and I'm pushing through all my aches and pains, and there's times whenever it hurts really bad. But you push through it, keep going. And the good thing about working out at home is, yeah, you have to buy the equipment, but you don't have that monthly expense of going to the gym, so you don't feel guilty, you know, if you're not pushing hard, you're not impressing yourself well enough, and you feel like you're wasting money. Well, at least this you've already bought and paid for, and it's in your house, and, uh, you know, you can work out at your own pace and do whatever you need to do. So, I've always been a work at home, workout at home kind of guy. I did try to go to the gym from 2015 to early 2016, but I just couldn't do it because my shoulders wouldn't let me do anything. Uh, so, I would go and I couldn't, you know, I could hardly do anything, but I would go. But it just got to the point of where it was just a waste of my time. And uh, that's when I picked up cycling. In February 2016 and uh, I cycled from then until just uh, last July of uh, 2021 so that's kind of that's kind of some of my brief history with uh, working out so, so far like I said I've been going for over a year now And although I do have to fight through some pains, I'm happy. I eat better. My diet has totally changed. Um, the only time that I really let myself go is on Saturdays. It's my cheat day. And uh, But I also eat healthy on that day as well. I just mix in some food, other foods that I might want. Be it potato chips and ice cream and candy bar or you know more bread or something like that you know so see I just looked down and I'm I'm around 49 rpms to 50 rpms you kind of know where you're at once you do this long enough. And I've been using this now for months. Every day. I got it used off Marketplace super cheap. And not only did I get this super cheap for $75, it's practically brand new, but the guy also threw in a Total Gym XLS with all the attachments and everything gave that to me for free and he actually brought it to my all all of it to my house and delivered it for free so you can't beat that always check marketplace guys and way better than craigslist craigslist is garbage so really marketplace is the best reason to have facebook i like facebook but it's also disgusting it's all in what you put into it and most people don't really put anything into it. They usually post, you know, political crap, religious crap, news crap, uh, conspiracy crap, stupid, you know, dumb videos uh, that you can't even explain. You've seen them. You've watched them. You've watched the dumb videos out there. That's basically what people post. And I'm not into any of that. So, you know, I really don't connect with any of the people on my friends list, to be honest. And that goes uh, family, friends, acquaintances, to strangers. I just don't connect with anyone, really, because everyone's uh, kind of boring. And they, they're too worried about stuff that they're never going to change. They're worried about things that, you know, pushing their own agendas that they don't know is true or not. Religion. They're bashing this person and this party and this person and this party. And everything's all the same. It's all it's all garbage. So I post stuff like this. I post my foods. I post 
my maps when I go for my walks and my bike rides, if I go on bike rides. And uh, I post all good stuff, and I might post something about a movie coming up or, or a movie I've seen or something you know, like that. And uh, nobody takes part, nobody communicates, nobody... But if I were to post something on those topics that I don't like, I'd get all kind of traffic. <laughs> you want to be popular? You want to get traffic? Talk about politics and religion and news and controversy and conspiracy theories and post stupid videos and all that stuff. I'm not going to do it though. I'd rather not be popular. I'd rather my channels struggle and never get anywhere than to follow things that I don't care anything about. And speaking of Facebook, and it's not only Facebook, but it's like Google News where you can pull up the Google and just kind of scroll through little clips and news articles and things that are going on and different things. If you go in there and you look at the news and you scroll through, why is it that these females have to have a news segment about them going naked or nipple slit or showing their curves or barely dressed at all or wearing some sheer garment, some see-through garment or showing their butt cheeks or showing, the, you know, why is it that I scroll through there and that is a news? That's considered news, guys. Why? Do females really need that much attention? Celebrity. Oops, my nude photos were released. Oops, this picture was released. Oops, this video was taken. Oops, it ain't no oops. <laughs> you know what's happening? You need attention. And the only way that you can get attention is not through your talents, but through your body. And some of you need to keep your bodies covered up, please. We don't all like it. Not all of you need to be naked. You don't see me posting nudes. I don't need to be showing my nudes. I don't take nudes. You don't want to see them. And I look pretty good compared to a lot of these people. Spears. I don't want to see no old Britney Spears, saggy boob, flabby, gross looking body. Give me young Britney Spears, maybe. I don't want to see you now. You're old. J-Lo, Sharon Stone, some news article that had some three, four, five hundred pound chick in it. I don't want to see you. Stop it. You want attention, you want to do something, do something positive. That's not positive. I can go watch beautiful naked people all day long on any website that I want to type in or movie channel that I want to go to. I can see all that. You ain't got it. Stop looking for attention. Now, off of that, didn't mean to sound so negative, but that's kind of some stuff that's been on my mind a lot. So as far as my channel, The Body Beatdown, it's growing slowly. That's what she said. It's growing slowly, but I'm not really getting the traffic. You know, that's, that's normal though. You'll get like 200 subscribers and you'll get like 10 views, 5 views, 20 views, and most of those views are not even from your subscribers. I don't get it. If I subscribe to your channel, I watch your videos. I spend a lot of time on YouTube watching videos, channels that I'm subscribed to. On all my channels that I have, I have the Body Beatdown, 
Mikey Sun TV, Mike Horn, and another one that I, that I don't really use. I go to each of those, and each of those I have a subscription to some videos, to some channels. I watch them. I give them a thumbs up. Most all the time, I try to always give them a comment, whether it's just a good job, nice video, thanks, or some drawn out thought or something. Take part in the channels that you subscribe to, guys. That's why we're here. We don't want to talk to ourselves like I'm doing right now in my live stream. There's nobody in here, and I'm talking to myself. But hopefully someone will see this. It'll spark some interest. You'll start a conversation. You might subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. My old channel that I had since like 2004 or 2006, Mikey Sin TV, I had probably a thousand videos on that channel before I decided to make this channel, The Body Beatdown. Now, keep in mind, my Body Beatdown videos, I go ahead and I upload to Mikey Sin TV as well. Just to keep the channel going, I don't want YouTube to just shut it down because I have a lot of videos on there that I like. Look at my playlist on Mikey Sun TV. M I K I E S O N T V. Go look at the playlist. Amazing, great content by me, not copied from someone else. All my stuff that I put my time and effort in. You don't have to subscribe to Mikey Sun TV because I don't really support it. I just upload my body beatdown videos to keep it going. However, check out the body beatdown. Look at the playlist. This channel is about health and fitness. It's about mental. It's about physical and uh, emotional. It's about all kinds of things. It's about anything that is really a healthy lifestyle choice. It could be like me and my granddaughter outside painting this weekend. I had her paint me a picture. That's on the channel because that was healthy for me, it was healthy for her, and it was good fun and it, it's art. Those are probably going to be classified in the random playlist, stuff like that. And then I have another playlist that's for discussion. And then I have other playlists that hit all body parts, including spinning and walking. There's something in there for everyone. You're going to see me progress over this last year and a half to uh, where I'm at. You know, I've gained a lot of strength. I've lost a lot of fat. I've gotten healthier. I can jog. I can jog a mile and talk and hold a phone or hold a camera while I'm jogging. I've made a lot of progress, guys. I don't just, you know... I'm not just all fluff and smoke and mirrors like a lot of channels are, like a lot of guys out there. This channel is for the average, everyday, real people that really struggle, that really put the time in, that really need the help, that really need, you know, encouragement. This is a real channel for real people. And it's unfortunate that I'm not really going to grow. I'm not going to get the internet fame. I'm not going to be able to monetize and make any kind of kickback from my work and my efforts. You know, nothing, nothing like that's going to happen. Because I'm not flashy enough. I'm not loud enough. I'm not crazy enough. I'm not, you know, I'm not traveling and doing all kinds of different things. I don't have half naked girls bouncing around on my channel. So, it's hard for people like myself to really get anywhere. But, if I can help inspire one person, I'm doing alright. But I gotta know that I'm inspiring you in some way. That means you need to leave a comment and say, Hey, Mike, the body beat down, whatever you want to call me. Hey, you. You're inspiring me. You helped me through the day. You helped me to start training. You helped me to eat better. You gave me a little push, and I appreciate it. We need to know these things.
So yesterday was leg day. All I did yesterday was Smith machine squats. And I didn't even go up real heavy. I, I went up just over 200 pounds or so. Maybe 230s, something like that. But not real heavy. I wanted to make sure that I got a good, real workout where I'm going full range of motion, pretty much parallel. I had my safeties down at the bottom where I knew I could stop and I was pretty much parallel. And I would hit them almost, you know, or get right close to them almost every single rep. And, uh, that's easier for me to do than to do free weight squats because I don't have good range of motion. I don't have good form. I have problems with my neck all the way down to my back. You know, my hips are tight. My pelvic is tight. You know, and so the Smith Machine really helped out. The Smith Machine is a great tool. Plus, you can move your body around a little bit different angles because you don't have to worry about holding the bar from falling off your back or falling over your face. So you can kind of angle your body in different areas, different ways, and move your feet different ways. And, and I got a real good workout. And I only did like 10 sets, which is nothing for my leg day typically. Normally I'm doing a whole lot more and a whole lot more weight. Uh, mainly on my uh, hack, my hack press, my Titan Compact Hack Press. I'm pushing in the 600s or something like that. And, uh, and you know, multiple reps, multiple sets, working my way up. And, uh, plus uh, doing the squats or free weight squats or machine squats, or dumbbell squats. Or, so. I typically get a little bit more workout, but by the time I got done doing those Smith Machine squats, I was done. You know, there's a difference in controlling the weight and going down to parallel, or at least right at it. Maybe in some cases more, but at least right at it. There's a difference in doing that and being controlled and the whole movement or me doing free weight squats in my other rack and not doing so well with the form and the depth. So, not only am I getting a better workout, it's also training the muscles from my head to my toe to be able to move further down in that further range of motion, which can lead over to doing better on the free weight squats. It can if my body allows it and my brain. Uh, by having a, a bad back that I have and the bad shoulders, it hinders me. Uh, being able to hold the bar to be able to squat is not easy. And then I end up only doing, you know, almost partial reps. I get close to parallel, close. But I feel like my torso is, is bending over more so than I'm squatting. You know what I'm saying? Like my legs aren't bending as much as my torso. But whenever I use the Smith machine, it's more like this. You know? Uh, I get, I'm able to have more control and I don't have to worry about holding the barbell up on me, you know? So, Smith Machine is really nice. Woo. Well, school's about to start back. We got class two times this week. I gotta go to bus training tomorrow morning. And then we go to another, and then I got CPR training Friday morning. Both suck. I don't need both of them. They get on earth. Waste of time. I'm not gonna do CPR. I'll punch someone in the stomach, maybe. Maybe that'll help. 
I ain't gonna sit there and suck on nobody's face or nose. Not with how people are these days, they'll sue you for touching your kid. I'm not looking forward to driving. We're grossly underpaid, grossly underappreciated. We have no real control or power on the bus. I've been thinking of finding a different job, but I like being able to sit. I like my hours. I like getting paid for all the free, for all the off time that we get. It has its benefits, but we're grossly underpaid. Having said that, we're almost done. Time always goes by whenever I do these live streams for me because I talk a lot and the time goes by pretty quick. 15 seconds. We did good guys. I appreciate you tuning in if you do. Leave some comments because I know I touched on some issues that you might have something to comment about. We're done. Woo. All right, guys. I didn't even go through a full bottle of water. Almost did. Ugh. Oh, me. Well, guys, I appreciate you. Uh, if you would, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown. Go check out the playlist. I have an, an amazing set of playlists. Uh, you're going to find something excelente, I'm sure. All right. Get up. Get out. Get rad. And do it to it. And we'll see you next time on the Body Beat Down. Be awesome, guys.